I've drawn three flipbooks now. The spinning cube, the shark, and a massive one with all the jokers. <laughs> I'm Howard Lee, and in this video, I'm going to be drawing a Terminator flipbook. I'm starting out with one of the opening scenes of the original Terminator film, where lightning forks accompany the entry of the Terminator. I'm just doing this with copied marker. I'm quite happy with the lightning forks, so I'm moving on to where the Terminator appears for the first time. I hadn't appreciated the artistry of the filming in this point in the movie until I drew it. But it's really visually appealing. It almost reminds me of the illustration of the evolution of man. The way he rises. And I suppose that reflects the evolution of the machines. We see the face of the Terminator for the first time, Arnold Schwarzenegger. And I'm just trying to get the feeling where he's still rising and he's just about to look around. Again, this is a really well shot scene and I hope to be able to capture some of that in the flipbook. So I'm moving on to the famous scene where Arnold Schwarzenegger, the Terminator, says his famous catchphrase, I'll be back. I'm drawing this with a 2B pencil and I'm actually using a light box to reproduce the image because there's about 21 frames and the face doesn't really change. But I've left a gap for the mouth and on each frame I'm changing the shape of the mouth to give you the impression that he's talking. be back. I'm happy with how that one works and I'm moving on. This is another famous catchphrase scene where Arnie says hasta la vista baby. Should I do the voice? Probably not. Hasta la vista baby. And I wanted originally to draw the mouth saying hasta la vista and then shooting but they've just wasn't enough time to draw those frames, it would have been an excessive amount. So I settled for just drawing the gunshot and then this scene, which is the T-1000 who's been frozen solid with, I think, liquid nitrogen, or correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but he's been frozen solid and upon being shot, he disintegrates into a lot of pieces. Maybe a bit of a spoiler if you haven't seen this movie for this moment, but uh, that doesn't actually destroy the robot. You think maybe it has, but then the pieces become liquid again and congeal together and he's just causing more problems. Or at least from what I remember, that's what happens. I'm very happy with how that scene looks. So I'm moving on to the final section of the book, which is an emoji. Now that will all become clear in just a moment because I'm about to test the final book in full with sound effects and titles. Here goes. I'll be back. So there it is, my epic Terminator flipbook. I didn't actually explain what happened in the films, even though it's called The Terminator Explained. And the reason is, I still don't really know what happened in the films. Maybe you can tell me in the comments. I'm Howard Lee, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and until next time, keep watching out for futuristic 
robots who've come back in time to change the course of history.